first preparation it shows uh, an increased uh, potential so I'm assuming that um, so maybe if I put that like invisible, it's going to be a bit better. Yeah, okay, fine. I have to put something under it. Second, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So, copper and magnesium, and we get. 1.5 volt, so we get the standard battery. Uh, so inside this one, it's, uh, it's so the packing is the foil, uh, so the film, the limited film with uh, the graphite. Uh, inside, it's the mix uh, of acrylic, uh, acrylic paint with carbon powder and the um, stripe of uh, magnesium. Uh, initially. When I did that, uh, the potential difference between the graphite and the magnesium was about 1.2, nearly 1.3 volt. And adding, uh, putting this uh, wire of copper inside, I, I have now, as you can see, 1.5 volt. So I'm assuming that now uh, the copper is the, I don't know, not the, the graphite anymore. Uh, so. Okay, and the, the quantity of copper I have here is just one wire, so it's one wire that is going from the top to the bottom. So this is about four centimeters. Yeah, okay, anyway, the idea is to try to find out what's the uh, what is most interesting um, uh, setup and mix. So that's the equivalent, and this one is using aluminium. So one part is uh, the laminating film with uh, graphite. Uh, inside the big part is the um, carbon, the acrylic paint, the mix-up. So it's uh, it's not completely rigid, but uh, it's getting a bit more rigid. And uh, yeah, it's difficult to see, but this last part, it's aluminium. This one is one foil of aluminium here. Uh, yep. So with this one, <coughs> sorry, we get a lower potential. So we just have 500 milli. But uh, okay, and this is uh, this is what six by six. Yeah, six by six centimeters about thickness. Uh, we have. Um, Four to five millimeters, I'm not too sure. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, so now the idea is to do it the same again. Whatever we use, uh, aluminium or magnesium. The, the cheapest is to use aluminium, and it's not giving the best result for the difference of potential. But the idea is to try to see um, what is possible to do with um, minimum thickness. Um, if we assume that with uh, three layers, so graphite, carbon, activated carbon actually, powder with the acrylic mix, and uh, aluminium, if we get 500 millivolt um, when dry, because when wet I, I got uh, uh, a lot more than that, I forgot how much, but uh, whatever. So, anyway, with these three layers, so we have a, our anode cathode than the um, electrolyte altogether, so we have a battery. The, the voltage is low, the amperage is even lower, uh, it's uh, less than microampere, so it's really no nothing. I've tried to measure that uh, the other day, and it was nearly nothing, so this is useless uh, in terms of uh, battery, but anyway. Uh, what is important is the quantity of material to, that you have to, to have this exchange of electrons uh, to generate enough electricity. And if the thickness of the three layers together is uh, like three millimeters, or I don't know, 
whatever is the, the, the fitness that we can achieve. If you pile them all together, at the end, uh, if you go up to five centimeters, um, or whatever uh, thickness you have, you want to have, sorry, then uh, yeah, you increase your potential. So, and what uh, what can be the the result of all these layers together? So let's say we you stack them, you stack uh, ten of them, then uh, with the aluminium uh, you get let's say five volt together. That's not much, but it's enough for most of the uh, electronic circuits you want to make. And moreover, these days, most of the uh, computer on modules, system on modules, they use 3.3 volt. So the voltage is uh, not the critical part. It's more the, what is more important is the um, energy you get out of that, the, the total amount of energy, so the wattage, you clear. And yeah, that wattage is, has to be a, a minimum to be usable, uh, but the quantity of material you get in total is uh, also um, in relation to the capacity that you have, meaning that uh, even if you get uh, let's say 5 watt, but you can use it for uh, one month, that's, uh, that's good. And then can we recharge that or not? So this is something that uh, we'll have to try. But so first, you have to make that, see what thickness we reach per cell, I would say. And then uh, with a defined thickness, what is the global wattage that we get out of that, and how long can we use it? <coughs> so, okay. Yeah. If I put too much acrylic, then uh, the problem is we have less carbon at the end. And so my first um, setup was using less acrylic, so the viscosity was completely different than, than what I have right now. But okay, let's see if I apply that. Okay, I'm trying to put that evenly on all the thing.
All right, so, okay. Uh. to think about the process for that. You have to know that uh, aluminium um, that you get from the kitchen, you have one reflective side and one absorbing sub side. And you know, this one side that is absorbing is processed somehow. I don't know what's the process. I'm not sure I want to know. But It's less, you know, this side is less shiny than this, this side. And you want this shiny side to be in contact. Uh, anyway, I will cut that after, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, let's try. Just like that. Just for the fun. Plus, I didn't ensure that we have no contact between the and cathode. So, uh, no, 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 doesn't matter. Okay, 400 mm. If I put up the same can you? Ah. contact 700 milli so this is probably because um, it's still a bit humid uh, so I guess when it's going to dry up it's going down no, this is actually going down already well, yeah let's have a 700 milli 700 milli and here what do I have uh, 15 by 7 centimeter I will, so I will uh, cut that in uh, different cells so, so, let's see what it gives. After what? Huh? So let's this dry up. <laughs> <laughs> 